This morning we're going to actually work on this line poem edit. So the first thing I need you to do is open up your Canvas account. I need you to download the poem. I need you to go to your Clever account. Open up Office 365. Then I need you to upload, find the poem, and then open. Give it a second and it should upload. Now, what I need you to do is to go in and change the file name. And you're going to change it to poem. Let's go back. Poem edited underscore your first initial, your last name. And you're going to press enter. And that should actually save the file name. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come out here and you're going to change. I would change these by lines, but you're going to come out here and change the font size for each line of the poem. So I'm going to find something that I kind of like. Um, I may start with my own. And I'm going to go up just a little bit, about 18. I'm going to come here. I'm going to do biome again on this one. And I'm going to go to about 18. And then biome on this one. And I'm going to go to about 18. And then I'm going to go to biome on this one. And I'm going to go to about an 18. So I've basically gone to the whole poem and I've changed the font size for the entire page. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the L, the I, the O, and the N, and we're going to actually underline and bold those. Okay. They look like it's already underlined, so all you're going to have to do is bold. All right, next step, we're going to change the first letter or the first line to a green color of your choice. So we're going to come here and we're going to use our selection. And we're going to go across here and select. And we're going to come up here and we're going to take a green color that we actually like. And if you don't like these greens, remember you can always go in here and you can find a green that you like this way. So I'm going to change that. Uh, the second thing it tells us to do is to change the appearance of tall green. So we're going to come in here and we're going to change the font. And I want something that looks kind of tall. So okay, maybe this might be an option. All right. Um, still kind of looks kind of squatty, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to look and see what else there is. There, and we can also come in and change the font size. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'm also going to change the green. I'm going to actually make it a little more green or a different shade of green than what I picked. For just those words. And that's still, that didn't look much different. Um, I can turn on the, I can turn on the bold, that kind of helps bring it out, makes those words stand out a little bit more, and I can italicize it so it stands out a little bit more. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, I am going to change this next line to an orange. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick out my orange and it wants me to change sharp teeth. It wants me to change sharp teeth. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select. And I'm going to come in and look for something that looks a little more sharp. And the downside is, is that you don't have effects. So it's a little bit harder to get those, the look that you're trying to get for these but I'm going to go with this one. Okay, that looks a little, a little bit better. And I'm going to change the size. 
and I think I'm going to change the color. Now they did a white and I think I'm going to do like a grayish. Yeah, that's too light. So I'm going to come back up here again. Mm, that's still too light. Maybe a gray. And then I'm going to come down here to Fierce Roar. Now if I'm on fier Fierce Roar, I'm going to look for something a little more fierce. And again, you find what works for you. It just needs to be different. this curly and I'm going to change it to a bright red and then I'm going to make it bigger okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come and select this line right here and I'm going to turn it blue I'm going to pick my blue here and I'm going to take strong and I want it to be a powerful powerful looking word. So maybe maybe this gill said ultra. Okay, that looks okay. And I can also come in and that really doesn't work, but um, I can underline it and I can change it to a little bit different color. So on this one I'm going to turn it black. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna get Ruler of the Pride and I'm gonna highlight it. All right, next up, we're gonna come to King. Now on King, I want it all, ca all caps. So remember that we had a way to actually make um, letters, all cap, and I'm going to put change case. And I'll come in here. I do want it uppercase, so that's one thing. I want to come in here and I want a big, strong looking or, uh, font for this one. Let's do this extra bold, okay? And then we're going to come in and let's actually highlight it yellow and let's turn the font color mm. turn the font color a yellow. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I need to maybe find a different color. Um, you always think of kings and gold, so maybe we need to come in here, maybe pick a different um A different color of gold. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so I'm going to say that maybe I can change this to a gray. So the highlight, let's turn it to a gray and let's underline it if it will underline. And it will, okay, so that it sticks out. And the last word we want to change is jungle. So we're going to come in here and we're going to find a good font for jungle. Um, I'm going to use this one because it's heavy. I'm also going to turn that one into all uppercase 
and I think I'm going to turn it a green, but a different green. Oh, I didn't change the, the whole color. So, let me see if I can find my font first. Let's do wide Latin. All right, and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to change the color again this time. I'm going to change it to this green. And I also want to change this to orange because I left it out. And I want it to be a little bit different than the other one that I did. Oops. Let's do this one. Okay. And when you finish, your poem should look something similar to this.